everyone loves the idea of a state-of-the-art home. But if you decide to have your new house built from scratch, you might expect to wait for months, if not years, before the building is complete. Unless, that is, you order yourself a hoof house. These ingenious buildings are the architectural equivalent of flat pack furniture and can be erected in as little as five days. So how do they do it? Welcome to A House Germany. Local couple Manfred and Hildegard Hemling have decided to buy a new home together and have set their hearts on having it built from scratch. Which wouldn't necessarily be a problem if it weren't for the fact they want it by the end of the week. But although the Hemlings have settled on the idea of a prefab home, being a master carpenter, Manfred still wants something a bit special. So they've decided to turn to a company 200 kilometers away in the town of Hartenfels near Koblenz. Herhoff's grandfather, Johann, was the founder of the company that now bears his name. And for almost 50 years, they've been famous for their prefabricated house design. We can build a house every day, so we continually develop the details. That's the advantage we have over an architect who builds a house and doesn't have the chance to repeat it. The Hoofhaus design was inspired by modernist ideals, which developed at the Bauhaus in the 1920s, with its emphasis on the essential and nothing being wasted. They're created from standardized components and feature a distinctive post and beam structure. This structure frees the designer from the constraints of load-bearing walls, which divide the interior space in a traditional house. Together with extensive wall-to-ceiling glazing, every hoof house offers a spacious open-plan interior. But despite using standardized components, the exact size and layout of every building is unique, and it's down to designers like Herr Baumann to ensure the Hemling's house will meet their needs and be adapted to the landscape in which it will stand. The system is always the same. The materials are the same. The wooden is the same, the beams and posts but all the other things will be changed. Anything is possible. So, with the design finalized, the factory can get down to the business of making the components. The first step is to produce the distinctive wooden beams which form the essential structure. Although these beams can be 15 meters long, they must be cut to an accuracy of just one-tenth of a millimeter, or they'll have to be discarded. So every cut is made by a special computer-controlled saw. Any slight dents or cracks in the wood are then filled by drilling out uniform holes and plugging them with smaller pieces of wood. Next, the beams are fitted with wall panels. For the hoof house concept to work, the wall panels must all be built to slot together perfectly once they arrive on site. So each panel is fitted with a bolt and hole system. But the essential look of a hoof house comes from its use of glass. These panels are double or triple glazed for insulation. And in case you really don't get on with your neighbors, they can even be made bulletproof. Finally, interior sections have a warren of piping tunnels installed that will eventually carry electrical cables or plumbing. In the space of a couple of weeks, every section of the Hemling's house is manufactured right here in this factory. All that remains now is to transport them to the site. They begin by covering the foundations with a damp-proof membrane before setting to work with scores of specialist tools. The entire ground floor must be completed on the first day if the guys are going to have any chance of finishing the job by Friday. It's like a vast syncopated ballet as cranes lift and spin the three-ton sections into place. Every piece needs to be perfectly level, so a combination of lasers and spirit levels are used to precisely measure the position. 
Even if a section is just one millimeter out of alignment, it must be lifted and propped up using thin plates until perfectly level. Any error at this stage and the roof won't fit. By the end of the first day, the entire ground floor has been erected, much to Manfred's amazement. The following day, the team assembled the entire first floor. And by day three, they're already fitting the distinctive sloping roof. Soon, they're hard at work installing the roof tiles. And by the end of day four, the building is finally waterproof. Incredibly, bang on schedule. After just five days, the entire structure has been finished. And by Friday afternoon, the Hemlings are able to take a walk around their remarkable new home. For me as a master joiner, I find it beyond comprehension. To be able to build something like this in such a short time with so much perfection, it was fascinating. All that remains now is to install the electricity and plumbing and the Hemlings will be able to begin the process of choosing curtains for all the windows in their new home. The only part of the project the Hoof House team can't guarantee will take less than a week.